Hey, hi, how are you? We need to can with some eggs. And do other things. So lighting's poor. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going? She wants to, of course, see the eggs, so I had to wait for her to get home. So candling them is super easy. There's a flashlight. It's super simple. So I'll get you to hold that. And there's 56 eggs in here. So I don't know what, this is day 13, so we're running out of time to kind of do this. And we'll see what we come up with. I guess we have to pull it out. That'd be good. This is always like the hardest part because you lose heat and stuff. So that one's good. 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 Almost wish that light was off. But they're all dark. Every single one of these so far. Oh boy. Lots of chicks. Wow. I mean, we're only through the first row, but... Wow. Yeah, I know. Temperature's low. I'm sorry. So I know the lighting was poor in there, but candling was a huge success. So we set 56 eggs in the incubator and I've never had this happen, never. Now this does not guarantee that we're gonna get, you know, 100% hatch rate where we're gonna have 56 chicks. That would be cool, but I doubt it's gonna happen. But regardless, I've never candled eggs and not taken any out. Like every single one of those 56 eggs, there was, there was something in there to where the egg was dark. And I've never had that happen, so. Fingers crossed, hopefully we get a high hatch rate, but we got to move the brooder down here and kind of get everything ready because we're on day 13, so we're running out of time. We always wait till last minute. We always do. So this is the brooder we need to move. This is my old chicken house, which is built this back in 2015. Had a pond up here for the ducks. This is when I still lived at home. This is at my parents' house. And this thing definitely served its purpose. And it was built, you know, as cheap as I possibly could. But I'll just quickly show you the inside of it. I actually had a different brooder in the back. I used to hatch chicks all year round. It was fully insulated. And, you know. So, yeah. So, there's that part. But this brooder, this is actually settling. So, this was tight originally when I did it. And this actually is pulled loose completely. But we had rabbits on that side and had it, you know, sectioned off. So this was one big brooder and then we made two rabbit pens in here so we could kind of have the best of both worlds. So I need to clean this out, but we need to separate it from the back of the chicken house, the old chicken house. I obviously have a light and stuff in here already. The biggest thing, I was gonna remove this but I think I'm gonna leave this just in case. Then we do end up, you know, we have two extra rabbit pens and the, everything's together. So I think it's just gonna be easier to just take it in all, you know, one whole big thing and be done with it. So judging by the way this looks, I ended up nailing it and there's nothing, but I think there's a bottom plate underneath here and I think that's screwed fast. So let's see if we can pop these out and see if we can get it loose. So it turns out it's screwed underneath. So I gotta get under there. Darn you, Cody. Past Cody. Why would you do that?
Hey, past Cody, future Cody here. Screws and a nails? Oh, come on. Well, I'm pretty sure at this point it's loose and I can probably, yeah, it's loose. The only problem is gonna be here, obviously we need to add plywood on the back, but the only problem is gonna be, because this was fastened, I didn't get too carried away with the legs. The legs are probably gonna be a little flimsy. But that's something that we can worry about when we get it down to the farm. And the farm's right there. So it's not too far. The other thing I noticed too is, you know, kind of an issue there, which could be just add another kind of a bolt latch there and that would probably be okay. But we don't want all that cold air or anything able to, you know, get in there. So that's an issue too. I haven't used this thing in like probably a year or more. It's probably maybe even two years, I don't know, but it, it held up really well. So I want to get it down home. We got, Obviously you just seen 56, maybe not the whole 56 that you've seen, but obviously you know we have an incubator full of 56 eggs that all candled good. So we, yeah, we need this down there. This is obviously a little big for me. I could easily drag it up there and break a bunch of stuff. But I'll see if dad can give me a hand. We'll get it out here in the yard. It's probably too long to be able to put it in the in the bed of the truck we may be able to but it's like eight foot roughly and i could leave the tailgate down but man that's that's iffy yeah Like, uh, we got it out, but we definitely kind of struggled. The legs are different lengths because of it being on the grade for me to level it. So that kind of made it iffy to sit here. So it's sitting at a huge angle right now. I'm going to leave it here for the night and we're going to probably get the tractor with the front end loader and put forks under it, kind of like a forklift. And then we'll lift it up, take it down. But it's longer and bigger than I anticipated. And I really wasn't thinking I was going to save this. So that's kind of the point where it's going to make it longer by like two feet. This is six foot. So I think where I originally wanted to put it, it's, it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to come up with somewhere else to put it. And I think I'm going to have to do something different with the legs, whether that be blocks or something. Got to figure something out.
dad managed to get the get it out of there we lifted it with the tractor and the forks which was a huge help compared to lifting it by hand and we got the plywood on the back so we got that closed in because the back was obviously closed in before because of having it fastened to the back of the old chicken house so we managed to get that done and we're on our way down to the farm now and we've got it strapped and we're pretty much ready at this point i need to clean it out you know there's there's very few things and little things that i need to do at this point to get it ready so we definitely made a huge amount of progress compared to where we were yesterday because it was still fastened to the other chicken house yesterday so we're on day probably 14 maybe 15 of the of the eggs in the incubator so it's coming quick and we need to have this ready that way we can move them all out once they hatch well we did and we do have it in place but i never had issues with heat lamps before but i am just not comfortable having it inside a building next to our hay pile if something were to happen this hay pile is igniting real quick and it's going to burn the whole freaking barn down so unfortunately we're just going to end up moving it moving it outside that way i feel a little bit more confident and comfortable having a heat lamp in there it sucks but i think it's the right decision well we moved it twice but i think this place here is going to be 10 times better because like i said those heat lamps have never given me trouble before but being right next to the hay, hay mound or the hay pile like that that's going to be the time that my luck's going to run out we left a little bit of room back here haha -ha. and are you admiring the work is it good enough yeah so i left a little bit of room just in case anything does happen that you know unfortunately this will burn but it shouldn't do anything to the barn and we basically just shimmed it up with some blocks and stuff this is kind of a temporary thing we gotta clean it out do some final touches get the heat lamp ready but for the most part we're ready for chicks and it's coming quick we only have a couple, less than a week i think until the chicks are going to be hatching so we don't have much time but the biggest problem that we had was we didn't have the brooder down here so we got that problem solved so we should be should be all uphill from here so that's going to do it for today's video be sure to subscribe to the channel have a great day and i'll see you in the next one